Hello happy people welcome back to my channel and today I am bringing you all a video that was kind of impromptu I was downstairs washing my hair going through my little wash day routine takes me about three to four hours to get it done and I was to a point where I was about to um, blow dry my hair so typically after I wash my hair I deep condition it and then I lather it on with some good leave-in conditioner and then I let it air dry over the span of three days. I'm going out of town in about, let me see. And I'm going out of town in four days and I need to put crochet braids in my hair. And so waiting those three days is kind of out of the question for me. And so there was a product that I purchased like a long, long time ago. And I'm going to actually give it a try because I need my hair to dry kind of by tomorrow. Um, but just a really quick close up. This is how my hair looks after I have washed it and styled it. It is uh, white residue on there because I lay lather my product on very thick. Um, I don't know if you can hear it or not. But that noise lets me know my hair is moisturized and hydrated it and it really needed at this point because my hair was a little thirsty y'all. So um, yeah, these are where my braids fall here. Anywho, let me show y'all the product I'm getting ready to review. It is called Deluxe Soft Hood by Hair Flare. Um, I got this like a long time ago. I'm thinking at least a year and a half to two years ago. I haven't used this since. I haven't used a blow dryer on my hair or nothing like that. But essentially it's a, a hooded dryer that connects to a blow dryer. And you can kind of put it over your whole head. And it's supposed to just dry your hair or whatever. So I'm going to just read you really quick what it says. It says it must be used with hair dryer on low heat settings. So I'm glad I saw that right off the bat. Um, unique non-slip silicone collar. It fits all handheld dryers um, that are up to 2.25 inches in diameter. Unique adjustable chin strap and side fitting drawstring um, to secure it in place. A large hood capacity to fit curl formers, rollers, and Velcros. Okay. Over 120 ventilation holes for faster and even heat distribution. Um, it's a non-light tube, um, ideal for multitasking, it says it's an attractive storage bag, ideal for traveling, and ideal for conditioning treatments, and the unit is hand washable. Um, so essentially says you're going to place it over your hair, fasten the chin strap, attach the elastic tube over the hair dryer nozzle, switch the hair dryer to a low heat setting, drying time is approximately 20 to 30 minutes depending on hair type, length, and thickness, so mine will probably be times two on that. Um, the soft hood must be used with the hair dryer on low heat setting over. It says when dry, remove the soft hood and allow your hair a few minutes to cool before removing the curl formers, rollers, or Velcros. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and take this out of the packaging. Again, that's what it looks like. That's the front of it. Okay, and then that's the back of it here. I ordered this off of Amazon. I think I paid like $15 or $20 for it. Um, this is the packaging that it comes in, so I guess that's the little pouch that they were talking about. It's really cute and sleek. And let's just see. Okay, so that's the packaging here. I'm going to open it up. Okay, so yeah, that's it. That's the packaging here. Okay, and this is it here. Oh, this is kind of cool. So this is the actual hood itself. It is very spacious, so that's nice. Let me show you how the inside of it so y'all can see the ventilation holes they were talking about. So if you can see on here, it has like little holes all the way through. So I guess that's where the air is going to come through to be able to dry your hair. That's kind of cool. My hair is very oily right now, so I guess I can't really cover my hair when I put this in here. I would have liked to have been able to do that. Um, this is the little tube here. Um, at the bottom of the tube, there's like just a smidge of elasticity, but I guess that's a good thing because you don't want it once you turn the thing on for it to essentially blow off the end of the nozzle. So yeah, this is the entire product here and let me go ahead and pop it on and get started. Okay. So this is my blow dryer I have y'all. It's a Vital Sassoon. I've had this blow dryer for like well, I've had this blow dryer since college and it's been a while so I've had this for a very very long time I think it still works maybe not okay <laughs> I wasn't sure if it still worked or not but it does still work so that's good um, I'm gonna go ahead and attach it to the end here let's see how that works all right so I have the nozzle on in place here and let me go ahead and secure this on my head. 
So I kind of want to use these bobby pins, but I have a feeling that the bobby pins are going to get hot against my head. But I need to have my hair up somehow. So I'm going to just take this, twist it once, and flip it on this side. Do the same thing for this side of my hair. Take it, gather it, flip it once. Okay, and then take it on the other side and then just kind of pin the two down. So I'm going to pin this down. Okay. And then I'm going to pin this side down. Even though it's kind of staying in place, it probably would be okay not to pin it. Actually, I'm not going to pin it because I'm kind of afraid of this the bobby pin being getting too hot. So I'm going to just kind of leave it actually. I'm going to let that be. And then I'm going to go ahead and place this big thing over my head. Okay. <laughs> this is weird. And it has a little drawstring here, so I'm going to just tighten that up to my head size. It's very spacious though. I feel like it could fit a lot of hair. Like if you have a lot of hair, it'll definitely fit. I'm going to take it off my ear here. Okay. That's pretty comfortable. All right, y'all. So this is this is what it's looking like on my head. Okay. Look a little crack hair, but it's there. And then let me put the little chin strap on because they mentioned something about a chin strap. Oh, I guess. Okay, here we go. So the lady has it over her ear, so I think I might have to put it over my ear in order to get it to secure. There's a chin strap. Okay, here it is. So I'm going to just attach it like right here. Okay, so that snaps pretty easily. And then. Oh, I guess I can snap this too. Oh, well, she let hers hang. I'm gonna let mine hang. I'm just kind of, kind of going off this picture this lady did. So she got hers over her ears, and her straps are just hanging. So I'm gonna just do the same, and then I'm gonna put it on the lowest heat, y'all. So I'm gonna put it on the lowest, the last one down here. I'm gonna turn it on. Oh, okay. And then I guess I just, I just chill out. It's pretty warm. Okay. It's comfortable. So I'm going to let it sit for like 20, 30 minutes and I'll be back. Okay, y'all. So it has been about an hour and a half. Let me turn this off. Okay, so it's been about an hour to an hour and a half. I left and I went and I started doing some work and I got caught up. And so um, I did not check it at the 20 to 30 minute mark to see how dry my hair was. I just kind of like let it go because I was on the computer making calls, doing whatever. So... One thing I will say is that it's very nice to be able to kind of like sit and have your hair get blow dried while, um, you know, working on other things. You can multitask while doing this, which is kind of nice. So I like that a lot. Um, one thing I did find is that I kept, uh, like, it feels really good. Like when the heat is just kind of blowing on your hair, it just you can feel like the circulation. It just felt, it felt really good. So I got really calm and relaxed and I found myself dozing off here and there because it just, it felt very relaxing. Like if it was up to me, I probably would just sit in my massage chair and have this blow dryer on and just like, like really just veg out and just... Uh, reach that complete state of zen. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing off and see what my hair is looking like and feeling like and see if it actually did the job. Now I know they said it depends on like the thickness of the hair um, as to whether or not it'll dry in 20 to 30 minutes but I left it on like an hour, hour and a half so it should be pretty good by now. Um, okay. Just checking the inside of it to see how much of the, the product that was on my hair got off on it. But nothing really, actually, so that's pretty nice. Just around the edges here, which is fine. You can always wipe that off. Wow. Is my hair dry? I'm impressed. What? Hold on, let me take these braids down. You better not sit here and tell me my hair dry. Okay. So, you know I had my hair kind of, it was... It was intertwined in the back over here, right? 
Okay, so the middle of my hair is still pretty wet, actually. Um, but, like, the ends of my hair... No, it's still wet. My hair is still wet. But it's cons it's considerably more dry than it was before I put it in. I mean, you can see that now my braids aren't white anymore. So, obviously, that means that my hair absorbed the product a little bit more. So, that's good. Honestly, I feel like if I sat underneath this... Like, I have to find a way to um, have my braids in the cap in a way so that it um, allows more airflow to get to the braids instead of having it intertwine. So, I'm almost thinking if I sit, under, sit underneath this for another 30-40 minutes and not twist the braids in the back, it probably would have gotten the hair pretty dry. I would say that my hair is maybe like... 65% dry. I won't say that it's like any higher than that. So about 65% dry in about an hour and a half. That's pretty good considering the fact that my hair normally takes about three whole days to dry. So this is normally how my hair feels about, you know, maybe like the second day. Yeah, that's pretty good, honestly. So I'm probably going to just go and sit underneath it for, I don't know, maybe like another 30, 45 minutes. I'm going to just kind of put the cap on this time without doing anything to my hair. Maybe I'll just like hold it up, like maybe do this and then put the cap on and then let them fall. So let's see. So now my braids are just kind of like loose underneath there. Let me tighten this up some more. Okay, and then let me put this strap on. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the strap on. And then I'm gonna sit underneath here for about 30, 45 more minutes and then I will be back and give y'all my final thoughts on this. See you soon. Back on my final thoughts on this dryer, I was only able to let my dr my hair dry for about another 20 to 30 minutes underneath the hood. It is still slightly wet, but overall, for the most part, my hair is pretty dry. These are results that I would normally get after about uh, two days of letting my hair air dry. So I'm actually really satisfied with the results. I think total, it was like two hours that I spent underneath the dryer, maybe two and a half. Um, so cutting down three days of dry time um, down to uh, three hours, um, three and a half hours, that's really, really good. So um, this product, I actually would recommend it, crazy enough. Um, again, it was super relaxing when I had it on. So this is something I would say like on the weekend when you have like all day to just kind of like sit around and veg out. Um, wash your hair, put this bad boy on, and just like relax. Honestly, I was trying to do some work while I had it on, and it was hard trying to stay awake. So, I really like the product actually. I definitely can see myself using it again, especially when I'm in a pinch like I was right now, where I needed my hair to be dry uh, fairly quickly um, so that I could style it. Um, and this could even be nice for if you want like a really nice braid out because. A lot of times when I do my braid outs, I'll braid my hair, but then I'll have to wait my three days before I can actually wear my hair out. And so then I'm stuck with these like Sealy braids trying to, you know, uh, having to do like protective styling or finesse it as to where it looks nice to, to be able to wear out or whatever. So, um, yeah, this product is pretty decent. Um, I'd recommend it, honestly. If you guys need something that's really quick, just to kind of dry, dry your hair in a pinch. Um, you'll need a couple of hours, though, especially if you have thick, long hair like mine. Um, you'll need a couple of hours to, to let it get fully dry. But I'm sure if you have, like, shorter, thinner hair, um, it'll dry fairly quickly. So, yeah, that was a pretty cool product to try out. I wanted to bring that to you all. Like, like I said, it's kind of an impromptu situation. But I wanted to share my thoughts on that in case someone was looking, browsing the Internet, and wanted to purchase it for themselves. So, yeah. Um, as always, I want y'all to go ahead and leave some love in the comments down below, and I will see you all in my next video. I hope you have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye!